Okay, hello. Um, this video is for my students who are interested in beekeeping. It's, I'm hoping it's short because it's about 90 degrees here in Wisconsin. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon um, and I am sweating like terribly. So as I melt, I'm going to show you that this little nuke box right here is looking full and you can see the bees there in the front it seems to me like it needs to be moved or transferred into a full uh, beehive so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the equipment and what it looks like um, for beginners so this little box that you see here is a nuke NUC or nucleus like as in baby um, where I split a hive that I had that was about to swarm and I, I brought some of the brood into this box with a queen, queen cups, and they made their own queen. And then um, I fed them a little bit of extra honey that I had because uh, some ants got in one of my honey jars in the house so I didn't want it and I gave it to these little bees as they got started just as some extra food. So. What I'm going to do is smoke the bees, and that means uh, you use this contraption here that has inside of it um, pine needles and grass clippings. I just pick them up from the yard, and that burns really well because it has resin in it. So it's smoking good, and I'm going to smoke these bees. And what they will do is kind of retreat back into the hive. Um, I'm going to pop the lid a little bit that off and then I'm going to open this a little bit and put smoke under there I can get it off you can see the bees already are kind of leaving the entrance there we go so I just move that lid over a little and I'm letting smoke drift across hope you can see that Okay, while the smoke is taking effect, you should let it sit a little bit so they can gather in the bottom. I'm going to move um, all of the bees into a full brood chamber, which looks like this. So um, a honey super is a little bit smaller. A honey super looks like this. And of course, I'm holding them the wrong way. They go flat. So that's for honey. This is for all of the brood and I'm going to place it on a bottom board the bottom board looks like this and I will probably be sliding it over as you can see this wall is not level so I have a level and I have shims and I have some shims under the, the nuke to make sure that the hive is level bees build their comb based on gravity so there's my bottom board. Here's my brood chamber. It's empty with no frames. Place that on top. So there are no frames inside. But I'm going to be moving five frames from this box, which is all that box holds. And I'm going to put them in the center of this box. The brood chamber holds 10 frames. So I have to add five blank frames. They look like this. These have been used and cleaned up. That was two, three, and four, and five. The honey super frames are about half of this length. So, now inside of here is room to slip those other five frames from the nuke box back. Okay, one other piece to this, this box is called the entrance reducer. So there's an opening right here and this little stick gets placed in that space. Here's a small opening but if you flip it around, there's a large opening. And I'm going to give them the large opening, but I'm going to put it this way. So that goes in there. 
already these bees are curious about the smell. Okay, so that goes there. And now I'm gonna smoke the bees again. Okay. And we're gonna get ready to transfer them into the, from the nuke box into the full brew chamber. So I'm gonna take the cover off and show you what that looks like. And hopefully my smoker won't go out. Oh, I need to put my veil on. <laughs> I have already been stung in the eyelid uh, in, in May, and that took a long time to heal. So let's not have that again. There we go. And I put a belt around this because if they, cl if they go up, that's a problem too. Okay, let's do this. So, here's the cover. There's a lot of bees on the, the, the cover. I'm just gonna make sure the queen isn't on there so I don't set her down and then she runs away or something. Um, they're very calm right now. So I'm going to start with one, of, by the way, these are hive tools and you can use them to pull frames out, to scrape frames. They just help you uh, maneuver through. So, get in here better. So this frame seems empty, so I'm going to take this one first. I want to put them in the same order they were. They're not happy about this. I'm just going to give them um, a little more smoke. I'm going to put the smoker over here so it naturally kind of feeds drifting smoke this way. It's a little awkward where I'm standing because there's some landscaping behind me. There's the other frame. Oh, they, they've started building comb on this frame. Beautiful. Nothing on the back yet. Put that one in. All right. Now, there's a lot of bees on this frame, so I'm gonna get a good foothold here. They were a little glued together. This is a black frame with black foundation and it's very heavy. There's honey up in the top corners. Maybe we'll see the queen on there. Uh, there's some cap brood at the top and there is a lot of open space where bees have hatched out. There's the other side. All right, that's going to go in this same way it was. Very nice bees. Very good girls. Thank you. It's always better when they're nice. <laughs> I still haven't seen the queen. You got to keep your eye open for her. A little bit of smoke just to keep them nice. All right, there's two frames left in here. I really believe the queen will be on this frame, um, but we shall see. Okay, I want to show you some drone brood at the bottom. You can see those kind of bumpy cells that are um, toward my right. There's capped honey at the top corners, and I do not see a queen, but that is a beautiful frame. And there's capped brood in the middle. It's very windy today, so I'm hoping the audio is okay on this. And obviously it's difficult to use sign language, so I apologize that I'm not interpreting as I do this. All right. 
One more frame to go. And there's not too much on this frame. So the exterior ones, or the ones on the outside, were um, almost empty. They're starting to build comb. And it looks to me like they're building queen cups right here and right there. I don't know if that's visible, but okay, so that's the last frame that's going to go in. And we have our switch transfer. Alright, and I'm going to um, put the frames together so the B space is correct. And the same as it was. All the ends and all the sides. And the bees should be happy in their new house. That's, that's the hope. Now there's still a lot of bees in this new box. I'm going to look for the queen. Um, I do not see the queen, but there are a lot of bees in there. So, I'm going to try and move the larger hive over here where this other one was. I'm going to put the cover back on, just let them figure out what they want to do their own. All right. And we're going to move this. My shims. A little bit of smoke in case I, I don't want to drop it. <laughs> that would be bad. All right. Let's move this hive. It'll be heavy, so be careful. There. I don't know what happened to this. I hope this is still on. Oh, what happened? I hope this is on still. Okay. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so I don't know what happened with that video, but hopefully my camera one is good. Um... So they're transferred into the big brood chamber, although there are still some in here. What I'm going to attempt to do now is level this hive a little better. I might need more shims because it's really out of level. Before I do that, I'm going to close it. So this is the inner cover that goes on top of them like this. Don't worry, they're not getting smashed in there. There's space. Put it on nice and straight, and then the outer cover fits on top, if I don't have it too close to that wall back there. Well, good. Okay, so that's together, but definitely out of level, so put that on there. Oh boy. Yeah. I might need more than what I have here. Gonna need, I'm gonna need more shields. Oh, that's too much. There we go. There we go. Okay, so, um, that is the end of that. I don't know if this video is going to work, but I hope that you uh, learned something and enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.